261 AP. The goal that I have set for myself months ago has finally been hit. For those of you who aren't as familiar with Black Desert Online, 261 AP is usually considered the beginning of Endgame. 261 AP Kudum is one of the most important breakpoints in all of Black Desert because of a little thing called AP brackets. For those of you who aren't aware, at certain AP numbers, you get a bonus amount of hidden AP depending on your AP level. 261 is one of the highest amounts of bonus AP that you can get from the previous bracket, and hitting it is considered so strong that it is sometimes considered worth it to use a Nuver if it will get you to 261 AP because the 58 monster damage that the Tech Kudum gives you actually gets outdone by the bonus AP that you get from hitting 261. However, once you hit 261 with Kudum, the real game begins because that is when you get the bonus AP from the Kudum and it stacks with the bonus bracket AP and you can truly start grinding for endgame. 261 is where most classes are able to finally go and start pulling real numbers at star's end, one of the best grind spots in the game. We can also grind Baragi Den, we can do all sorts of wonderful grind spots like that. However, I have always wanted to put in a couple hours at star's end and see just how much money we can make. I also have been taking a bit of a break from Black Desert Online and as such, I have access to Olvia servers. That's right, I have Olvia stars and access at 261. Well, what does this mean you're wondering? Well, it's quite simple. I have been grinding stars end for five hours and I have not seen a single other person. No duel for spots, nobody coming to grief my rotation, no PVP. I literally have not seen another soul at stars end today. It's been absolutely crazy and I plan on taking full advantage of it. I have approximately 25 days left of Olvia access, and I plan on grinding Star's End every single day for as long as they will keep me on the server. It is probably the best money you are ever going to make. Completely unduel for spotted Star's End access for 25 days, I know people who would pay to have what I have. So we are going to grind the crap out of it. now. In the beginning of this video, you saw that I sold my Uragons and my Kudum in order to buy the Crescent Ring. And let me explain why. When I bought my Tech Kudums way back before I took my break, I bought them for 1.8 billion and they have now shot up to pre-orders at 3.2 billion silver. I made money off of selling those Uragons and I made the decision that the damage increase to 261 was more important than the damage reduction that I was getting from the Uragons. Now, I didn't quite have enough funds to cover the price of the Tech Crescent, so I sold my Kudum. Main reason being, I do have a backup. I actually have a Pentu Vala for the lawn that you see grinding in the background here, so I just ended up using that so I could get the money from the Kudum. Realistically, until later on in the game, there's not really much of a use for me to have a real Kudum, seeing as how the Pentu Vala does the same. And because of all that, we have finally hit 261. What does this mean for us and what does this mean for the account? Well, like I said earlier, we are going to live at Star's End for the next 25 days. And hopefully in those 25 days, we will get enough of those juicy, juicy Black Distortion earring drops to hopefully give us enough to get to 269. All I need is a Tet Necklace and a single Tet Earring to give us the 7 AP, or sorry, 8 AP required to get us up to 269, which is the next big AP bracket. I do believe there is an AP bracket at 265, but 269 is the one I'm shooting for, and then we can go and finally live at Sakraya. So that is what has happened this week. I'm extremely excited to be grinding finally at Star's End, and of course I'm going to be doing it all live on my Twitch channel. 
Now, my Twitch channel link is quite strange. It is currently twitch.tv slash cowbaconlive. I have a link down in the description. It will be getting changed back to Dungeoneers. I just have a cooldown I have to wait to finish, and then that'll be fine. But aside from that, everything is back to normal. If you guys want to check out The Grind, come by, listen to some music, have a wonderful time hanging out with your boy Dungeoneers. Come on over, check out the Twitch channel. It'll be a grand old time. On top of that, I'm also going to be making a PvE lawn for dummies guide. I guys, I am not maining the lawn. I just wanted to try her out because she is one of, if not the, eh, one of the best Stars End grinders in the game. I think she still gets outdone quite heavily by Succession Striker, as everyone does. But she is definitely top three at Stars End. And now that I'm trying to make gains as fast as possible, I decided to tag her. Now, she is quite good and I might make a video on her. But I don't know if I'm going to main her yet. We shall see. However, I know you guys love it when I put the lawn in the video. So I decided to put her in the background as my first real Black Desert Online video back. In other news, guys, we actually managed to get two sponsors coming to the channel. So stay tuned for that. Both of them are very good. I promise I am not just peddling some random BS that got emailed to me. I've never actually taken a sponsor before. I have had uh, some opportunities that people have emailed me that just haven't quite felt, you know, right. It didn't feel like something I would really enjoy. And I don't want to say, do a sponsor for something that I wouldn't personally use. But these two are very, very well-known and respected companies. And no, it's probably not the one you're thinking of. <laughs> it's not a game. I can promise you that. But it is something that I actually do use myself and I'm very happy for it. So stay tuned for the sponsors as well. And hopefully, guys, we get quite a lot of drops because the quicker we get drops, the quicker we get videos. On top of that, I might also be learning how to PvP. I know that it's sort of weird that I've never PvP'd before and I actually just kind of left this until the end of the video because it's kind of a big announcement. But I might be making some PvP footage for you guys as well. Obviously, I am horrible at PvP, but I think learning it could be a fun experience and something that you guys would enjoy watching as well. Besides that, that's pretty much what I wanted to update you guys on. I'm so excited for 261 AP. We're going to go out. We're going to get those black distortion earrings, and I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the footage. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for coming by. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new, and we will see you in the next one.